I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about choices, relationships, and breakups. You know, ultimately, a breakup is a major decision, yes, a major it is. choice. It's huge. Um, depending upon your level of commitment and how much investment you've had in the situation, right. you may have been with somebody from, you know, a year, years, you may have family, right. kids together, and making the decision or choosing to end that relationship is not easy. Nope. We're going to talk nope. about choices today, we're going to talk about relationships, and then we're going to get to breakups and choices. So I think you guys are going to find this fascinating because you have to really think about this because ultimately your breakup was a choice for that person, for most of you. Some of you did the breaking up, but having to sit with the other person's decision and choice is not easy. It's not easy. And of course, if you stop to think about it, it's probably one of the biggest choices you'll make in your life. If you're if doing not, the breaking up. If not, up. The, well, or, or even hooking up, getting together. Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge choice. What we think of as choice is often determined by our history and emotions. We're learning that. Our fears, our needs, and our losses. Are driving our choices. That's right. Our fears, our yeah. needs, our losses yeah. are driving our choices. Are driving our choices. And if we've had too many losses, sometimes we're reluctant to make a choice to even get with someone. Yeah. When an inner situation is not made conscious, it can appear to be fate. We hear from people who say, we hooked up really quickly, we got together really quickly. The first time we met it was magical, we knew we were meant to be together, it felt like we had been together for years. Yep. And then all these other sort of magical feelings, things happened and we really thought it was fate or God's plan for us. Yep. And apparently Carl Jung, he was Freud's contemporary who also had a whole lot of influence on the field, he said, um, when an inner situation is not made conscious, it can appear outside of us as fate. And mm -hmm. I hear what he's saying. The inner situation would be we were ready to meet up with somebody who really wanted to. There was something about them that reminded us of the, our family of origin. And it just feels like fate brought us together. And we hear it very often. Yeah. Um, so our unconscious is, of course, as we now know, involved in everything we do. Um, when a choice is based in our history and unconscious, the reasons for our decision may not be clear to our partner or even to us. Sometimes we choose with our intellect, at other times with our emotions. Most of the people we're talking with have emotions that are all present. Uh, we may analyze options or decide quickly. Yeah. Even after we've made a choice, we can feel ambivalent, or regretful. Choice is risky and plunges us into the unknown. What seems to be a poor decision may turn out to be positive. What seems like the right choice may not always prove to be as wise as we thought. Yep, and that's important for you to think about yes, it is. that your ex that chose to break up with you may not turn out to be what they thought or how they feel is not what they expected. And a lot of times, they just have to sit with it and reevaluate. That's right. During no contact. Yeah. 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 But cho it takes guts to make a choice, to make a decision. Because once you make a choice or a decision, you have to live with the consequences. And you hear, I hear people now and again who don't want to take responsibility for their decisions or choices. Yeah. And you have to if you're a grown-up. You just have to. 
I made a mistake. I made the best decision I could at the time. It turned out to be a mistake. There that is. We'll go on from here. Yeah. You don't stop making decisions because that happened. Um, so choice is risky because we never can control the outcome. This may be the hardest aspect of making choices. We may make a well-reasoned career change, for example, and move to a new city with our family. Yeah. But the impact is unpredictable. The relocation may be more difficult than anticipated, mm -hmm. or more gratifying than we expected. We have to, you have to have some willingness to gamble, I think, with any choice or decision that you make. It's often in hindsight that we understand the value of a relationship, right, and the cost of choice. Yeah. Okay? Making a choice is not a simple act. It includes intention, will, strength, anxiety, and even persuasion sometimes. Say those again. Okay. Say that list again. Because th think about it. Your ex is going through all these when they made their choice too. That's right. It includes intention, what you hope will happen, will, strength, anxiety, and even persuasion. So there was anxiety behind their decision too? Absolutely, and they may have had to persuade themselves if their conscious and their unconscious was saying two different things, which I think is often the case, mm -hmm. you know? Um, a decision can feel liberating or upsetting. Stir up feelings of exhilaration, freedom, or fear. It can be nurturing or contentious. Or we can feel as if we're forced into choosing. I think that's a contradiction in terms. If you're forced into choosing, you may, you may be forced into making a decision, but you can't be forced into a choice. Yeah. Choice can strengthen a relationship or weaken it. So choices are a big deal in life. And I can tell you that I've met many people who are too afraid to make them for fear that they'll make a mistake and they get stuck. You're better off to I make a, a decision. I have a friend like that, yeah. Yes. You're better off to make some decision and assert control over your own life than to just kind of ride along with the fates and not be in charge. So. Sometimes people are afraid that once they make that choice that it was a mistake. And so they're so scared to make a mistake right. that they do nothing. Right. Yeah. Um, I know many people like that, and many people who have lived their lives like that, but I don't think you end up with a sense that you have any control over your life. Yeah. Right. You know, there's one more thing towards the end of this article that I thought was important, is in regards to, you know, what the person is feeling or thinking when they've made a decision, right? And it talks about how it could be liberating and uh, exhilarating. exhilarating, you feel freedom, and you just, uh, but you're also feeling fear. Sure, which is reality based. Yeah. And so you have to really think about your ex's perspective on the choice that they made. You know, they didn't just happily make a decision. There were a lot of components to it that were probably a struggle and probably scary for them. They were afraid. Yeah, breakups are never easy. They were anxious. And, you know, they're deciding, is this a mistake? I don't know what I should do. I, I feel free. I feel like I need to be out of this relationship. But just because they're feeling all of those things at one point doesn't mean it's going to stay the same way. You give yeah. them time and, you know, you focus on the personal growth. You're going to look like a much better option to them than if you're begging and pleading and trying to explain to them how you've changed when you really haven't and, you know, forcing yourself on them. And you know, you might say, my, my ex is too stubborn to make a decision. Well, if your ex made the choice, the decision to break up with you, they can always make a different choice. That's right. At least they can make a choice, unlike some people. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if you're going to have any control over your life, you have to be able to make decisions. That's right. Yeah. And um, hopefully this will give you a little bit more perspective on choice and, you know, that ultimately... It was their choice, as hard as that is to hear, and I know it's hard to hear, that it was their choice that they have made this decision. For whatever reason it is in your situation, they made this decision. 
I there remember, was more to it than you think. I remember not long ago talking to a gentleman who was very upset over his girlfriend breaking up with him and said he thought she was influenced by her family and her friends. And I said, well, how does she do with making, you've been with her for a while, how did she do in making just little decisions in the course of a day? He said she never knew what to order on the menu. I had to do it for her. Mm -hmm. you know? So you start with little things that you make decisions about. Yep. But it's good to think about choice and what your ex may have been going through when they made Absolutely. that choice. Absolutely. It's never easy. Yeah. Of course, when you want to get our help personally, you can go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is available for Skype coaching. Feel free to sign up with me. I'd love to talk with you. Make sure you put a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video, though. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.